Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. I am hoping by the end of it, you'll want to hit that subscribe button. So I have BoxyCharm by Ipsy for October 2023. I had to remind myself what month it was. Going fast. And this, these are my paid boxes. So I'm going to throw up my choices on the screen because I'll be honest with you guys. I want me some Huda palettes. I want me some Charlotte Tilbury. I don't want me no Wonder Beauty. I'm kind of tired of seeing her. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Let me know if you agree with me. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Don't know what that does. Um, it's Glamoween time. That is the theme. I don't know if this is going to have any prices in it. I, d I think that they have gotten rid of doing that. You guys know, yeah, like the iconic London palettes. We can go without those. I mean, come on here. All right. So it does tell you the prices. Oh, wow. All right. Let's go in it. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. So you pay like $30 for this and you get five full size items and you get to choose three. And if you look at my choices, I was not very happy with them. Um, but okay, let's just get into it. The one thing I really do like is this, <laughs> and it's the Huda pencil, the lip liner. I actually have it on and I really like this. This is in the shade Pinky Brown. It says it's a lip contour 2.0, but I like this because it has the little sharpener right there. And then the color is just gorgeous. And she doesn't like smear or anything. So I really like her a lot. Okay, so I'll put the price of her on the screen and then let's move on. I was not real happy to see this. This is the Farrah, Farrah Beauty or Farrah Cosmetics. I don't know. It just says Farrah eyeshadow primer. It is a sticky primer. I did use this today before I went in with ABH Fall Romance and you do have to set it. If you don't set it, you're going to have some issues. But the eyeshadow primer, then... By Tula Skincare, the So Pumpkin Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. I do love getting these. I'm going to be honest. Pumpkin, for whatever reason, it brightens my skin. It helps even out my skin tone. So this is a winner for me. I am loving that. This other one sounds good. By Volition, which is another like high-end product brand. Chocolate Macadamia Hydrating Mask. How friggin' cool does that sound? I'm like, mmm, chocolate? Yes, please. Let's see if she smells like chocolate. Well, she has a seal, but you know what? What does this do again? It's just a hydrating mask. I love hydrating masks because I have to use them before I put on my moisturizer, before I put on my makeup. Otherwise, my skin will be dry. So I had, okay, I don't know if I can get this off. I have to use a hydrating mask, so I'm fine with this. Okay, yeah, I can't. Let's just go ahead and poke her with some scissors and see what the scent is like. Ooh, that smells good. Almost like chocolate mocha coffee. All right, so this here is a winner for me. I'm liking that. And the last thing, it's by Wonder. <laughs> it is the Riviera Blush and Bronzer Palette. And let's open her up and see what do we have. Here are the shades. This is supposed to be, these are not bronzing shades. No, I don't know. Let me see. Mm, maybe this one, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Mm, that's okay. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and swatch the blushes just real quick. I was going to do the same finger hold blushes. There they are. My pinky and this one. Woo! They're pretty. I may be changing my mind about this. Let me get my blush brush here. Come on, hang on. We got to try this out because if Karen's wrong, Karen's wrong. Because I was like, I don't need me no Wander Beauty. Woo! A lot of kick up. Okay. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, that's not bad. Especially if you have light skin. I think that that would look nice. Okay, so, all right, I'm not hating on it. All right, let's recap, and then we'll get into the total cost. So the Wonder Beauty Blush and Bronzer Palette, the Farrah Eyeshadow Primer, the Lip Liner, my favorite. 
then we have the chocolate macadamia hydrating mask and then we have the tula which is the pumpkin so pumpkin exfoliating sugar scrub and i did not smell her i love me some pumpkin definitely okay so i can kind of smell that through there not bad all right so that's everything i'll put the total value of this box on the screen tell me what you guys think would you have liked this box? That really does smell good. Pumpkin, oh my gosh. I have so many of these around my house and I, I just love them. So tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you like my box? Did you want my box? I mean, is this something where you were like, oh my gosh, yeah, you got everything that I wanted? Because I'll be honest, like I said, I wasn't too happy with the choices, but overall I have to say this is a pretty decent box and I was kind of surprised by the Wonder Beauty. I'm not usually like a Wonder Beauty fan, but are you guys, do you guys have like Wonder eyeshadow palettes you love or anything? like that because I really have not found anything by that brand that has wowed me. Okay guys so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching this unboxing and I will see you guys really soon in another one. Bye!